Okay, today we're in section 5.3, adding and subtracting unlike fractions. What do you think it means to have an unlike fraction? What am I talking about? Yeah, different denominators. So I have to find an LCD. Yesterday it was pretty convenient because all of my denominators um, were already the same. Today they're going to be different. All right, so let's look at example one. In example one, I'm adding and subtracting these fractions, so I automatically start with the larger of the two uh, denominators, and I ask myself, okay, can the smaller denominator go into the larger one? And what do you think? Can 3 go into 12? Yes. Yes, it can. So 12 is going to be my LCD. Okay. Now, 5 twelfths isn't going to change, but what would 1 third become? 4 twelfths. Do you agree? 4 twelfths? Yes. Because 3 times 4 is 12, so 1 times 4 is 4. Now what do I do? Add. I need to add them together. 5 plus 4 is 12. Or I'm sorry, 9 over 12. And then is that my final answer? Got to reduce. reduce to 3 over 4. Okay, now the next one's a little different because I have negatives. Okay, but that still doesn't affect how I find my LCD. So I want to give you a minute to find your LCD and change your fractions. Okay, so what's your LCD? 18. 18, very good. Um, now keep your negative. 6 times what is 18? 3, so it's going to be negative 15. And then 9 times 2 is 18, so 7 times 2 is 14. All right, so 15 minus 14 is 1. Is that right? Yes. What did I do wrong? Oh, the 15 is negative 2, isn't it? So what do I do? I need to add and keep. not subtract. I add and keep. Very good. They're both negative. Same sign, add and keep. Negative 29 over 18. All right, so when we convert it from an improper to a proper fraction, it becomes negative 1 and 11 18 all right, now I want you to go ahead and find your LCD for the next one and change your fractions. Okay, so we find 15 as our LCD. We change our fractions. Now we get negative 3 over 15, which becomes what? Negative 1, negative one over 5. Okay, so what I have boxed in in red is the work that you have to show on your homework. Okay, so you've got to show me that you can actually find the LCD and what those fractions become. And we do that because you can actually solve all of these on your calculators. I'd like you to use your calculators to check your work. Okay, you are allowed to use them on your quiz and your test. So let's just do one of uh, the fractions as an example. Let's do the third one. Go ahead and hit your fraction button and enter the fraction 7 over 15. Okay, and then hit the right button to make the cursor blink right in the middle of that fraction. Now we're going to subtract it, hit the fraction button again, and enter two-thirds. Okay, so you should have on your screen seven-fifteenths minus two-thirds. And then press equals. Whoa. Okay, what do you get? One you get negative one-fifth. Now, here's what you can't do on your quiz. You can't just say, oh, negative one-fifth is the answer and have no work to show. You're going to lose your points because I'm going to know that you just put it in your calculator. You have to be able to prove that you can find the LCD and show that work. That's why I have it boxed in in red. Without that work boxed in in red, you're not getting credit. Everybody clear? But you can use your calculators to double-check your answers. Okay. Um, all right, so now let's move on to example two. Now, with example two, we're adding mixed numbers. So does anybody remember um, yesterday what was the first thing that we did with mixed numbers? We had to change them into improper fractions. Okay, we need to change them to improper fractions. That's exactly right. So the first thing we do here is we're going to change these to improper fractions. We don't pay attention to the negative. We just kind of bring it over with the fraction. So four and two-fifths becomes what as an improper? What does it become? 22 over, 5. 22 over 5. All right, and what about 2 and 6 over 11? Uh, 28. 28 over 11. And then just keep your negatives. Okay, and now what do you do? You can just add them right now. Negative 22 plus negative 28. 
you got to find your LCD. So what's your LCD going to be? 55. 55. So I want you to go ahead and create your new fractions. So what's our first fraction going to be? Negative 242. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Negative 242 over 55 plus negative what? Plus negative 140 over 55. Okay, and now I can combine my numerators. What is negative 242 plus negative 140? Negative 382 over 55. Okay, now I'm going to teach you in your calculators how to convert this to a mixed number. So I want you to enter this fraction. You can enter it as a negative. Just press your negative sign first and then your fraction sign. 382 over 55 and press equals. Okay, you should have the same fraction. Now hit shift S to D. Shift S to D and it should change it to a mixed number for you. Do you have it? What's your answer? Negative 6, 52, or 55. Very good. Negative 6 and 52 over 55. So instead of, you know, doing it the long way, we can just put it in our calculators. Okay, we don't have, we don't have to worry about that part. All right, now I want you to go ahead and try to do the next two. All right, so the first thing we do on the second one is change to improper. Now we need to find our LCD. What's our LCD? 15, very good, and change our fractions. Did you get 85 over 15 and 117 over 15? Yeah. Now what do we do? Yeah. Add them together. Okay, and now remember you can use your calculators to change it to a mixed number, and what does it become? 13, 7 over 15. All right, awesome, good job, guys. All right, now on the next one, change to improper. Okay, and then we're going to find our LCD, subtract and take. Did you get negative five and a half? Yeah. Negative five and a half? Raise your hand if you got both. Anybody get both of them right? Okay, you got one out of two. Do you see where you went wrong if you missed one? Forgot the negative. Okay, that's an easy mistake to make. All right, any other, any questions? Anybody else have a question? Okay, so now let's subtract mixed numbers. All right, now when we're subtracting mixed numbers, all right, let me get over to it. Okay, subtracting mixed numbers, it's the same thing. I changed it an improper fraction, um, and then I find my LCD, and I just subtract. All right, so let's go ahead and do the first one together. Um, seven, three, seven and three sevens, let's go ahead and change these to improper fractions and find your LCD. Okay, so on the first one, go ahead and change them to improper fractions and find your LCD. All right, so we change them to improper fractions. Did you get that 52 over 7 and 16 at negative 16 over 3? Okay, now what's my LCD? 21, very good. Did you get 156 over 21? Yes. And did you get negative 112 over 21? Yes. Good. So you guys are doing great. Then I end up with 44 over 21, but is that my final answer? No. Now I have to change to a mixed number, and I get 2 and 2 over 21. Okay, so pretty much example 3 is the exact same thing as example 2, except I'm just subtracting. All right, let's do one more. I want you to try this next one on your own. And then we'll move over to example four. Okay, so change them to improper. Find your LCD. That's pretty simple. It's 10. And subtract. Six and one tenth. Did you get it? Yes. Six and one tenth. Very good. Very good. All right, now in example four, now we're just uh, we're throwing some variables into the mix. Um, and we're, we still have to find our LCD. Okay, so simplifying the expression. Uh, in the first one, what would my LCD be? It's 6. It's 6, okay? So my second fraction doesn't even have to change. Well, 2 times what equals 6? 3. 3. So what's 3 times A? What's 3, three times A? 3A. Three A. Very good. So 3 times A is 3A, and I leave my A. So what's 3A minus A? 2A. 2A. 
And then, um, yeah, there's always an understood one. Now, can I reduce this anymore? Yes. I can reduce it to 1a over 3. Do I need the 1 in front of the a? No. No, I can just say a over 3. All right. Um, now, what about the next one? What's going to be my LCD? 63. Do you agree? Yes. Give me 63. Yes, it will be 63. Okay, so what is going to be my new numerator? It's going to be uh, 7 Very good. 7 times what equals 63? 9. 9. So 2B times 9, well, what's 2 times 9? 18. 18. And then I keep my B. Okay, so 18B. And then what about my 9? 9 times what is 63? 7. 7, so 7 times B is? 7B. Seven. Seven seven B. What's 18B plus 7B? What's it going to be? 25B over 63, and I'm done. All right, now I want you to do the last one. All right, LCD is 6, 3X minus 2X, X over 6. We got it right. X over 6. Awesome, guys. Good job. All right, and if you understand that, that's everything you need to know for 5.3.